Campbell with the snap. Pressured. Brought down into the backfield. Huge sack. Great player. And his upside is he hadn't even scratched the ceiling yet. Full snap. Jonas Griffin just rips the head off of Kobe. Dynamic. He's one of those guys that when he's around the ball, good things have a chance to happen. A player described like this, who only played one year of organized football before his college days. Home is Louisville, Kentucky for the Griffith family. But might as well call them Team Griffith. Seven boys, five girls, one mom, Janice, and one dad, Jerry. Usually when I tell people, they're like, are they all from like the same parents? And I'm just like, yeah. I was always just with my older siblings a lot and just playing with them and rough housing, you know, just being thrown around a lot as a kid, but it was fun. Got to hang out with my siblings a lot and just really feel like what a full house would. Despite only one year of Pop Warner football, it isn't like the Griffith family lacked football talent. My granddad played professional football, and he was a running back, I believe. And then my dad played Division I football at Western Kentucky, and his brothers, with two of them, played at Southern Illinois. And so, pretty big football family, and my older brothers played as well. I didn't think that I would love it this much, but I always had a love for it, you know, but once I got to play, I just realized the passion and everything that comes with it, you know, and just the brotherhood and camaraderie that comes with it as well. It's huge for me, because you know I'm a big family guy and I feel like the team is a family. Basketball was the sport for Jonas. Spent a lot of time on the AAU circuit. But after multiple attempts, asking his mom to give football a chance, finally his senior year arrived, and he got his opportunity. Christmas time, my mom was like, we're gonna let you play football this year. And I was just, so happy, I like hugged him for a while. I was like, you know, thank you, you know, like I'm gonna make y'all proud, you know. And honestly, it was just that, that moment just of like, they're letting me do it, so I might as well give it my all. There weren't many offers for this up and coming project, but Indiana State felt right. A major reason was due to another recruit coming from a big family. That recruit is now a sycamore and is Jonas's roommate. Anoke Moala. The first time I met Jonas was around our official visit. He came down the same weekend. And uh, I mean, he's a goofy guy. <laughs> he was uh, a clown, and the first time I met him, was, he was just cracking jokes with his siblings. And I mean, it was just easy to get along with him, easy to talk to him. We both come from big families. We know like how it is. We know the struggle, and we know what to do. And like, I mean, how we were raised, we were raised similar ways. And um, I mean, that's, that's another connection that we have and it makes our bond that much stronger. I said, we're taking the first visit to Indiana State and it was the best visit. Like it was just a home feel. Met like some guys like Anoke Moala. He was one of the guys I met first. He was on the visit with me as well. I and mean, we were just like, let's commit together, you know, and let's like make something special happen here. After only playing in 10 games in two years, after red shirting in 2015, a coaching change was made. Then, an 0-11 season followed, yet the deep love and appreciation for head coach Kurt Mallory is stronger than it's ever been in the heart of 46. Off the bat, just his interest and his passion, you could see it in him. And with the last coaching staff before Coach Mallory, I, I, I honestly didn't have that same like feeling of a father that I have with Coach Mallory, and just feeling that same bond with Coach Mallory is really big. Like he's, I could call him at any time of the day. Like it could be at night and he would answer the phone and not be mad at me for calling. The college football experience is, is honestly a blessing and it's honestly a sacrifice as well. Guys don't realize they see the, the shining lights and, and everything, but it's also a grind behind closed doors. It's, it's a consistent grind. You have so much like, stuff that goes into that, like academics on top of that, and just weights, eating right, getting rest. This weekend is a homecoming for Jonas, a chance to play in a stadium he visited frequently on a Saturday afternoon with his dad and brothers. Now his family will make a trip to Cardinal Stadium at night to see him play. I wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. And I was talking to Anoki about this earlier. I was just like, I'm so thankful that I'm a sycamore 
and I wouldn't want to be playing for any other team. And that's coming from the bottom of my heart. And just knowing that I'm going out there with my brothers, blue collar mentality, and just going out there, it's going to be surreal, but we got to get a win. Same mentality for every game. Regardless of the outcome Saturday, the Sycamores know what they have in the middle of their defense. How would I describe him as a person? All that and then some. I mean, he's a guy that, you know, if I had a daughter, I'd love for him to date her. I mean, I think that that's the biggest compliment you can give. I'd let him watch my kids. Um, like I said, just a, a, a good-hearted, good person that you love to be around. Any, any team needs guys like that. Um, our, our team has a lot of guys like that in different positions, and every position needs guys like Jonas and, and Cottrell, older guys who are experienced, who are confident, know what they're doing, and work really hard. And in a couple of years, that's going to be our current freshmen. But they're freshmen right now. They're going to grow, and they're going to get a lot better. Um, and Jonas probably wasn't there as a freshman. In fact, I know he wasn't. He's grown, and he's gotten better, but he's bought in, and he's been coachable, and he's worked his butt off. And that's why he is the player he is today, because he's worked so hard. For more on Sycamore football, stay right here at GoSycamores.com.